Welcome to the video. My name is Bruce and this is my channel Ecom Kong where I help beginners grow online businesses from scratch. In this video, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes and showing you how you can set up a TikTok ad campaign from scratch. And be sure you stick to the end of the video where I share with you how you can join my free mentorship group. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The very first step to getting started is to create our TikTok business manager. And to do that, we're going to go to Google, type that in, and then we're going to select the very first link. And as you can see right here, it takes us to the TikTok for business page where it says, don't make ads, make a new trend, make a connection and make TikToks. TikTok ads are really starting to take over. And a lot of people who have traditionally used Facebook or ran into issues running Facebook ads are starting to move over to the TikTok platform. They're seeing really good returns on their ad spend. And, you know, it's trending right now. There's billions of people using TikTok. So it's a really good platform to focus in on. So to get started, go ahead and tap the button right here. And once it loads, all you need to do is fill out this simple information and then follow the prompts on the very next page. Now, once you've set up your TikTok ads manager, you will arrive into the dashboard and it'll look exactly like this. So as you can see at the top here, we have dashboard, the campaigns, the assets and the reporting. So if we click on the campaign tab, we'll let it load. This is where we are going to begin building out our campaigns. And it's very similar to Facebook where they have a campaign level, an ad group, which is similar to an ad set level, and then also the ads. We can click uh, create right here and begin building one out, which I will walk you through in a little bit. But for now, let's go ahead and check out the assets tab. So as you can see, they have um, an event button. And what this does, it allows you to set up your website pixel so that you can begin tracking uh, events like purchases, add to carts and uh, initiate checkouts. And you can also set up some other in-app um, events over here, but we're not gonna worry about that. The only one that we're gonna work on uh, in a bit here is the website pixel. Scrolling down, we can click on the creative button. And this is where you can upload all of your, uh, your video ads that you're gonna display um, inside of your campaigns. You can upload them right here. You can also create them. Um, they have stuff for images, uh, videos, playable, Spark ads, which is something new. Uh, looks like you have to apply for authorization and instant forms. Uh, for now, we're only gonna be focused on the video ads. Uh, scrolling down to audiences. Now here it gives you the opportunity to build out custom audiences. So you can, uh, create audiences based on events that the pixel tracks. So for example, you can create an audience around somebody who has visited your website, who add, added to cart, who initiated a checkout or who made a purchase. Um, now keep in mind that to create these audiences, you need to have at least a thousand people inside of them um, to exist. Now you can also go ahead and create a lookalike audience. So you can build an audience, again, very similar to Facebook ads, of people who are very similar to those who performed an action, who performed an event that the pixel tracks. So you could create an audience of people who added to cart um, on your shop, on, on your Shopify store, or you could also create an audience for people who initiated checkout, who made a purchase and so on and so forth. So this is gonna be a really good tool to helping you uh, really start to optimize your campaigns. And then clicking down um, to comments, this is where you can uh, manage the comments that you get on your your ads, but I'm going to show you a way to, to turn those off while we're creating the campaign. So you're not going to have to deal with any uh, negative comments. Now reporting, this is um, a pretty good dashboard that shows you all of the analytics that you'll need uh, from everything A to Z related to uh, the ads that you're running. So that's pretty much the dashboard. So now before we jump in and begin creating our first campaign, let's hop on over to Shopify and integrate our TikToks ads manager with our store. So we're gonna head over to our Shopify dashboard and we're gonna to go to the app store. We're gonna to go to add apps. And then once it loads, we're gonna search for TikTok. Just like that. And we're gonna select the first one right here by TikTok. And we're gonna add the app. And let it load. And so what this is actually gonna do it's going to add a sales channel, which will be located right over here on the left hand side of the dashboard. And so we're going to go over to our settings right here. And we're going to connect our uh, TikTok account. So make sure that you're logged in on the same browser and then select connect account. 
it'll populate just like that. And we are going to select connect. And just like that success, your TikTok for business account is now created. And now we can connect the ad account within our business manager uh, to this store. So within a TikTok business manager, you can have multiple ad accounts that you can use to run uh, ads for different stores, you know, different businesses, whatever you got going on. Uh, this is the ad account that we'll be using for the Shopify store. So to connect it, all you need to do is press the button right here. And now it has been connected to the store. Scrolling down a little bit, customer data sharing. This is where we are going to create the pixel. Again, it's a super simple process. All you need to do is uh, create the pixel just like that. So now it's been set up and now the ad account and your TikTok business manager have been uh, integrated into your Shopify store. So now we can begin building out our campaign. So now let's jump back into the TikTok ads manager and get started. So from the dashboard, we're gonna come up and select campaign. And once it loads, we are going to select create a campaign. And from here, we're gonna do custom mode. I'll start over. So buying type, we're gonna leave it at auction. Conversion, we're gonna select conversions. We're gonna name the campaign, you know, whatever product we're selling. So in this one, I believe the store is for a power brush. We're gonna leave it at no budget because we're gonna set the budget at the ad set level or the ad group level on TikTok. So click continue. So from here, we're going to select the pixel that we created and that's already integrated into our Shopify store. For the optimization event, we are going to select complete payment this is the same thing as a purchase on Facebook ads. Instead of automatic placement, we're going to select the placement. We're gonna remove these two so that our ads are only showing on TikTok. And then to remove the comments and, and to prevent anyone from downloading our videos, we are going to select those two buttons off. Uh, scrolling down a little bit more here, we're choosing our audience. You can add any custom audience that you already created and you can also exclude, uh, you know, uh, a select group of audience members here as well if you want to exclude anybody who you don't want seeing your ads. In terms of the location, I suggest just doing the United States and, Can and Canada, but depending on where you're located, you know, you can, um, you know, go through and add in whichever countries you like. For the gender, I suggest leaving these broad unless you're uh, marketing a beauty product or something that's targeted for one gender versus the other. And then for age, you know, same thing with age, but I typically leave it at no limit. Language, I leave at no limit. And then when it comes to the interests and behavior, this is very similar to the interests on Facebook. So there's not really as many to choose from. Um, for this example, it will be a, let me see here. We will call it uh, tech and electric. And then within tech and electric, you can select a few different ones. You can select appliances, travel, pets. Scrolling down, we're gonna get into the targeting. So this is where you can add in any custom audience that you already created. Uh, when you're just starting out, you're not gonna have these so you don't have to worry about it. You can also uh, add an exclusion list right here, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. For the locations, this is where you can select the countries. Uh, for If you're just starting out, I select doing the US and Canada, but depending on what type of business you're running um, and where you're located and where you uh, have the ability to ship products and work with customers and clients, you can, uh, so you can, you know, you can add in the locations that are right for you. For the gender, you can select male, female, and you can also select the, the age, uh, you know, whichever is best for your, your product. For me, most of my products, I just leave it at no limit and no limit. Uh, same thing for the languages. And now scrolling down to interests and behavior. This is similar to Facebook, um, where you can choose interests and behaviors uh, to market to. It's a little bit more limited. So if, if as you see here, you can only select from about 12, I think it's 12 big categories. And then within a few of these categories, you can select smaller, uh, you know, subgroups. Uh, but for now, for this one, I'm just going to uh, select tech and electronics. And here's, um, 
one thing to note within each ad set, within each ad group, you only wanna select one of these. So we're only gonna be selecting one interest or behavior at a time. So for this one, since we're doing tech and electronics alone for this ad group, I'm gonna name this ad group tech and electronics. Some of the other options to choose from are ad behaviors through video interactions and ad behaviors through creator interactions. So if I click on this one, you know, you can mess around with these, but I've seen the most success by clicking watch to the end, selecting your category, and then choosing a seven day time period. Uh, again, you can mess around with these, see what works for you um, within the different ad groups that you have in your campaign. Uh, moving to uh, the creator interactions. Again, this is the same thing. You can select between followed or viewed profile. I prefer followed. And then again, choosing uh, creator accounts that are in, a, in the category that you're selling in. So what this is going to do, uh, for example, it's going to target people who have followed creators within the fitness and health space, uh, which is going to be a little bit different targeting than just uh, selecting the interest here, as well as just the video interactions here. This is targeting the people who specifically uh, selected uh, or specifically followed creators in that category. Uh, device, no limit. I typically just leave this as is. Don't have to worry about it. So the budget. When you're doing it at the ad set level or the ad group level, you have to do a minimum budget of $20 uh, to schedule it. Uh, let's just say we're going to schedule this for Saturday at... Um, We'll do midnight, 12, zero. It doesn't really matter, but I just like keeping things clean. So we'll do midnight just like that. We'll run continuously and it'll run all day. The optimization goal, we're gonna leave it at conversion. And then we are going to do the lowest cost. So as you can see here, this is best for spending your budget fully and getting the ma maximum possible results. Um, I just think it's a better way to go than, than setting a cost cap. Um, lower, lowest cost is more automated and it's, it's really going to be the best for you, especially if you're just starting out. So now that our ad group is set up, we're going to go ahead and go to the ad. So at this part, this is where we are going to be setting up the actual ad that appears um, inside the TikTok platform. So let's go ahead and upload our video. And if you watch the previous video on my channel, I talk about where I like to get my custom content from um, for the video ads that, that I choose to run. So once you go through that process and you get your videos, you're gonna select it and you're gonna upload it just like that. Now, this is just a quick one that I made on my phone 30 seconds before uh, starting this video. And once it loads, be sure to select confirm and then go to from library and select the video that you just uploaded just like that that's a good thumbnail right there so display name this will be the name of your store so whatever that is uh my store was called power brush as you can see it creates it right there um now for the text TikTok doesn't want you to use any promotional language or marketing language in the text because they want their ads to look um, like they're supposed to fit on the platform. They don't want ads to look like ads. They want their ads to look like TikToks. So if I'm doing a power brush, um, you know, whatever it is, you can't you can't say like get a 15 percent discount. You can't mention any any type of sales, but you can you have to be catchy and creative uh, with your headlines. So if I go back over to my product page on my Shopify store. I have my three piece drill brush set right here. So let the drill brush do the work for you. That simple. Let the, let the drill brush set do the work for you. Just like that. As you can see, it populates right there. Let the drill brush set do the work for you. So the call to action, we are going to do shop now. You are going to add your website URL right there. So I'm going to copy it just like that. And remember at this point, you shouldn't have just the dot my Shopify. You should have a real um, uh, domain name. Now to add the profile picture right there, we are going to add it by selecting this button. 
Uh, let's make it. Let's try to make it look good. Uh, you can do a better job by by that, but you get the idea. You can add in the profile image right there. Now, if you want to get a preview of the video, just click play. This is just a sample video ad for this tutorial. If you want to learn how I suggest creating ads for your TikTok ads, go ahead and check out the last video on my YouTube channel. It's going to be very informative and shows you exactly how you can get custom content without breaking the bank. Yeah. So just like I said in that short little video, if you want to uh, learn the creatives that I use for TikTok, go ahead and check out the last video on my channel. I'll have a link for it at the end of this video. Um, but some other cool things that you can do here, you can click the TikTok video editor and this allows you to edit the video that you uploaded. You can add popular music, you can change speed, you can do all kinds of different things um, similar to what you could do when you uh, create a TikTok. So that's a really cool, um, really cool feature within TikTok ads. Make sure that your pixel is um, the correct one, which it is right here. And then all you need to do is select submit. And once you select submit, it'll go through an approval process. And once it approved, your ads will go live at the time that you set them to go live for. So let's go ahead and click submit. And now we're going to begin to build out the rest of our campaign by adding new ad sets that are targeting unique behaviors and interests. So we're going to go to the ad group and we are going to select copy. Now you can do uh, multiple at a time, but for now, I'm just going to walk you through one. Um, so we're going to select one existing campaign and then select duplicate. And so for each of these new ad sets, these new ad groups, all that we're going to be doing is scrolling down and changing the interest or the behavior or any of these options, we're gonna, we're gonna only choose one of them. So watch to the end, we'll select uh, society and then seven days. We'll come back up to the ad group name and we will do society seven days watched. Just so we can keep things organized, we'll select next. And again, we'll keep this one exact. We'll keep the ad exactly the same. And then we'll select submit. Okay. I'm turning the campaign off because I'm not actually going to be running uh, ads for this product right now. But as you can see, we're going to start building out the campaign. So we have one campaign broken down right now into two ad sets, each one targeting a unique interest or behavior. This one's targeting the tech and electronics interest. This one is targeting the seven day videos watched in the society um, category. Each one's going at $20 per day. So in total, if we let this run, we would be uh, spending $40 daily. I typically like to build this out so that there's five ad groups inside of one campaign. So I'll be spending $100 per day when starting out um, and then I'll be making uh, decisions every every day or two, um, depending on the return that we get for each of these uh, different ad sets. Um, you know, so if we see that one is doing better than the other, we'll probably scale that one. And if we see one that's not doing so well, we will simply turn it off by selecting this button. And this way we can uh, really start to scale into those profitable areas and then also find new areas um, that may be profitable. And that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions about this process whatsoever, please be sure to leave a comment beneath the video. And if you got any value at all, please be sure to drop a like. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you're interested in some free one-on-one -on -one mentorship, check out the link to my free Discord channel in the description beneath the video. I hope to see you there. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.